So now let's begin with catecholamines in urine, or rather noradrenaline, adrenaline and dopamine. These are hormones produced by the adrenal gland which greatly increase their concentration in biological fluids in the presence of cancers such as pheochromocytoma, neuroblastoma or paraganglioma. Fortunately, these tumours are very rare, so most readings should be normal. However, high mortality rates in undiagnosed cases highlights the need for accurate and rapid testing methods. The method of choice is the chromatographic one because it is the only method capable of separating and quantifying the three different catecholamines. To analyse the catecholamines in chromatography, the detector connected to the HPLC can be electrochemical, fluorometric or a mass spectrometer. I would like briefly to talk about the first two detectors because today's objective is not to speak of the mass spectrometer. The electrochemical detector enables the direct conversion of chemical information into electric current and it measures the current that results from applying a potential difference to the heads of the electrodes of a flow cell. These detectors are used in the detection of ionic or electrolyte solutions that are sensitive to oxidation or easily reduced. Therefore, these detectors are destructive in nature as the molecules passing through the detector are modified. The amperometric detector is the most common. It is based on the potential of a working electrode with respect to the potential of a reference electrode. When the column elutes a chemical species and there is an electrolysis process, it produces a current whose intensity is measured. Current intensity of hydrolysis is the signal that produces the peak proportional to the concentration of the solute.